Now when you're buying fresh oysters, a little bit of know-how around how to store them will help them last even longer so you can get the most out of your oysters. Now this might come as a bit of a surprise to you, but the worst thing you can do is put your fresh, unshucked oysters in the fridge. If they're already shucked, absolutely, the fridge is the place to put them. Cover them with a little bit of plastic wrap so they don't dry out in the low humidity environment of the fridge, store them in there. But whether it's Sydney Rock oysters or Pacific oysters, if you're buying them live and unshucked, do not store them in the fridge. Now first, the Sydney Rock oyster likes to be stored between 10 and 15 degrees. Now for me, that's usually under the kitchen sink or somewhere in the laundry, somewhere on the southern side of my house that's not getting blasted with sunshine that has that nice consistent temperature. And the other part is making sure that you store them in a damp cloth. Now if you're buying a lot of oysters, the oyster farmer will probably give you a big hessian sack. And there's a reason why they use them, they're perfect for storing oysters. But if you've got a lower volume and you still want to store them in a wet cloth, you can either wrap them in a damp tea towel, or if you've got an old pillowcase, give it a bit of a run under the tap to get it damp, squeeze out any excess moisture, put the oysters in there, and then put it under the kitchen sink. The Pacific oysters are seven to 10 degrees, so they like to be that little bit cooler, and they don't store for as long as the Sydney rock oysters. Both of them really don't like going below seven degrees or above 21 degrees. But there's a way that you can tell if your oysters aren't happy where they're being stored, because they'll start to gape. And gaping is when the actual shell pops and the oysters open. And if it gets to that point, they're done. If you pull your oysters out from where you're storing them and there's a couple of them that are gaping, get rid of those ones. The rest, as long as the shells are still closed, should be good to go. The other great thing you can use is your nose. When you're shucking an oyster, your nose will tell you pretty quickly if they're off and they've been stored incorrectly. So keep them cool, keep them wrapped up in a damp cloth and your oysters will look after you and you should be able to enjoy your Sydney Rock oysters for at least a week up to two.